please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update and videos welcome to our linux classes so let's move to the next question next question is to configure your system so that uh, your system would be the ntp client of this classroom.example.com so classroom.example.com would be your ntp server and your server that is your server 9.example.com would be the ntp client so how we can do that it's very simple let me show you so first of all in rhl7 the package for ntp is crony it has been changed from ntp to crony so it is already installed but in the exam it won't be installed so you have to use the same command and which can be used to install this package and after that you have to look for this file and then you have to you know put the entry for the your ntp servers so you can see that lot of you know servers are already there so in the exam what you need to do simple you know put this server and classroom dot example dot com and i bus so this is what you have to add so anywhere you can add this line it's server not okay so this is the entry you have to put it in this file and uh, after that uh, you have to restart the service system ctl restart okay you want you can check the status as well okay it is showing disable so make it enable that has been enabled now so this is what you have to do it okay and uh, for verification you can check the verification as well so for that we have command yc capital v so this command you can use to check the reach level you can say that so friend that's all for this lecture hope you have got an idea how we can configure the ntp client for your ntp server so thanks for watching and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture